So I'm Will and Lee Stockton. I'm staff and student here at Texas Tech, and um, I'm one of the non-geographers in the room. Uh, what you guys were talking about was sometimes a little over my head. Um, I'm a lowly knuckle dragon agricultural applied economist, um, but I will start an MS program in geography in the fall. Um, but something really passionate to us is like, or passionate to me is like economic disparity, especially like she said on racial and um, class lines. And so with that, let me share my screen. Oh, I should just share this display there. Cool. Guns up. Thank you. Yes, sir. Actually, if anybody did a guns up in chat, I promised I was going to give one of these guys uh, for a guns up. Um, but yeah, so uh, Youth Mappers here at Texas Tech is kind of a small program. Um, and so it's mostly just me and two two other students. Uh, walk. Uh, it's Mason Jones and Jesse Garcia, and we call ourselves the Co-Honchos. Um, but yeah, we partnered with the Lubbock Compact. Um, it's a local NGO here in town. And if this will work, there we go. Uh, it's a public policy think tank and community advocacy organization here in, in Lubbock, Texas. It was started by a faculty here at Texas Tech who wrote a really big um, paper about the disparity. And he was looking to apply some more data behind it. And we th thought it was a perfect application for GIS and more importantly, a perfect application for OpenStreetMap. Um, and then I had the pleasure of taking a internship with USAID with Rory and Adele um, and learned just a tremendous amount of stuff and was able to use those tools um, back here at Texas Tech and do some really cool stuff. And we did it with Lubbock Compact. We had a mapathon, a three day mapathon between me and Jesse. We were on the camera for 17 hours um, as community driven project focused here in Lubbock and as we were mapping out the eastern side of Lubbock which like there is tradition like a lot of um, like problems on the east side of Lubbock like they didn't have fire hydrants as late as the 1980s on much of that side of town and unfortunately it's drawn on like traditional segregation lines on race and class and so we had this mapathon it was open to the public we really had anybody could come we had some people from outside Lubbock people f like from the community which is great they're mapping their own backyards and we did it on twitch tv which is kind of a new kind of thing it was originally started to like show people playing video games of all things but now it's grown to such a, a, a phenomenal community I have like 300 hours of scientific outreach on twitch tv through Texas Tech Geography there's people like identifying spiders in Sweden with microscopes there's 80 year old jewelers on twitch and when in my life am I ever going to be able to like look over their shoulder and ask them questions? And so we decided to bring OpenStreetMap and our mapathons onto Twitch TV with this three day event. And we focused on East Lubbock because there was like many roads and buildings hadn't been mapped yet on OSM and really hadn't been mapped on the like the city records either. It's the oldest part of Lubbock and it's like traditionally the more neighborhoods of color and more neighborhoods like of lower income. Um, and like I said, there's significant problems of much infrastructure there. Particularly, we're looking for 54 miles of dirt roads that the city says shouldn't exist, but they do exist on the poor side of town. And it's a significant economic impact to these people. Uh, after that, we like first responders are looking to use this data on OSM to better uh, help these people because now we can start to look at road service conditions on OSM and we can better release data to them. And their software people are looking to integrate that data set into their, into their program, which is really exciting. We're going to continue working with Lubbock Compact um, to further analyze road surface conditions around Lubbock. It's still an ongoing project. Um, like I said, we're about to start phase two of that. We are mapping green spaces right now. And like me and my friend Kyle are personally going around to green spaces and identifying every single tree um, and marking them on OSM to better quantify uh, species diversity. And it sounds like a monumental task, but out here in, in West Texas, there, there aren't that many trees. So like we knock out a park in about an hour and a half with my daughter and it's, it's really fun. Um, but yeah, we're also getting more students involved in our chapter, which is huge because, you know, like a lot of chapters, a, a graduate student will leave or something like that. And he was kind of like, or she was the heart and soul of it. And sometimes the program kind of stalls out. Unfortunately, that happened to us like right at COVID time. And so moving to the Twitch TV, having this big project to work behind in the community, uh, having community involvement is really huge um, for what we have going on. And with that, just in that three days, uh, we had a huge impact. 94% of the mapping was done by beginner mappers, 75% uh, of that from the first time mappers, which like that kind of speaks to our outreach. Uh, we had 1,000 
200 plus change sets, 2,100 total map edits, 18,000 buildings mapped in an area that was kind of already well mapped and 350 kilometers of roads with 65 total contributors. Um, you've seen these maps a whole bunch. We're getting close to finishing. This was as of this morning. Uh, you've seen these before too. Uh, you may not have seen these. These are our metrics from Twitch. This is our first day of the three-day event. And the unique viewers is something that's interesting to me because this is like people who came to our event. Even if they just came and went one time, it, it, that, that shows like 50 people showed up to our mapathon on that first day. And 90 people like came and went, you could say. Um, so it shows people were coming and going, but we, we felt like we had a good influence and it only went up from there. Um, right now we're looking at 2.2 thousand views of that mapathon. Um, and it's just growing. We have 150 followers. It's we have events going on. I'm about to go live stream out in the field personally, and uh, we have a lot of cool stuff going on over at Twitch. We're doing some cool projects with the uh, economics and uh, the diversity stuff. I have a longer session later, and I'd love to talk more about this stuff. And if you have any questions, uh, let us know. Oh, and great, yeah, shout out to our Twitch channel. Thank you. Yeah, look out for us. Like I said later this afternoon, uh, we're gonna float the river, and I don't know if that's really academically appropriate, but after that, we might uh, walk around and show what like. The survey classes we have out here and stuff like that because we are currently at the uh, uh, the junction field site here in, in up Texas Tech so it's a one it's a beautiful spot down here but yeah I've gone over time way over time I apologize um, that's that's just about it you'll hear more tomorrow thank you guys